system that helps you survive. A system where food is an everyday thing. A system that breaks things down. The, the digestive, digestive system. system. Journey with us as we enter the first step of the digestive system. Now watch as Ethan devours his pita bread. His salivary glands are absolutely destroying it. Getting as a close up. Look at that. This is great stuff. Look in there. <laughs> now it is time to venture into Ethan's body. Dum 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 dum. We are now in Ethan's mouth. Yes, we are. We're about to enter the epiglottis, which is opening up. Now let's journey forward, shall we? We should journey into the esophagus. Yes, let's go. Yes, let's. Ooh, Ooh it's, it's dark. Open. It is opened up, and we are now entering in. It's dark. Oh. Very dark. Wow, it's dark down here. Yes. It's it's extremely dark. It's a little bit pungent, mm, almost like a, a scent cellar. It's a formidable scent. Oh man, where have we come to where now? Where are we? Wow, it's really dirty in here. I'll tell you. It's like a forest. It did. It does indeed. Oh my gosh, he must have swallowed a dog. Amazing. Have you? Amazing. Journey through the esophagus just like us? Oh boy, the hydrochloric acids that break down the foods and turn them into proteins. It's incredible. It's burning my feet. What? Let's continue. Let's follow that puppy. Follow the puppy. Look where the puppies brought us. This must be the small intestine. Indeed it must. Oh my, it's quite damp in here. What is that smell? Ah, look God what we have here. here. Smell. It's smell. This villi. This villi, I mean, isn't this, isn't this what absorbs the nutrients and yes. sends them into the bloodstream? Yes, it is. Very nice. Well, it's quite amazing here. Let's continue on. small intestine, now we're in the large intestine. Let's take this dog with us, she looks a little afraid. Yes, now, sir. all of the nutrients have left the food that we're with, and the water has been taken away. And all that's left is solid waste, which will be ex exiting the body in a few moments. Let's journey with them. Ah, the rectum. This is where the solid wastes are stored before Ethan, well, before he's ready to finish the digestive process. And look, there's Ethan's pita bread now. Ah, very nice. Let's continue on as we almost finish the process. Hello. Ethan has just finished his whole process through the digestive system, and Eric, me, and this fluffy dog here are all proud to say that we have passed through the digestive system. Thank you. Eric and Kellen, I have a few questions about the digestive system I would like to ask. Okay. Kellen, I'd like to ask you this first. What is the function of the digestive system? The function of the digestive system is to break down food molecules and make them smaller so the body can absorb the nutrients and proteins that are in the food. Now Eric, what organs are included in the digestive system? Some of the organs that are included in the digestive system are mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and anus, as well as those that are also liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. Ah, interesting. Yes, very. Now Kellen, 
How exactly does the digestive system work? Well, I'll tell you how the digestive system works. Step one, place the food in your mouth and chew it up so it becomes smaller pieces. Step two, swallow the food and the smooth muscles and the enzymes will push the food down the esophagus. Step three, the food then enters the stomach and breaks down into even smaller food molecules. Step four, the molecules are then pushed into the small intestine where the villi, or the villa, will take the molecules, or the nutrients I should say, and take them into the bloodstream. Then, the food goes into the large intestines where the water is removed from the food and it turns into solid waste which goes to the rectum where it is stored until it is ready to be released in the anus. Interesting. Very. Now, Eric, what kind of disorders occur in your system? Yes, one that you should know of is called inflammatory bowel disease. It's inflammation of the intestines and refers to ulcerative situs and Crohn's disease. Okay, so what happens to a person if they get this disorder? Well, it makes the inner lining of your intestine inflamed and cause ex extreme, extreme diarrhea. I see. Now how does a person get this disorder? Well, to this day, scientists really still do not know. But they think that it might be due to diets, genetics, and the environment that you live in. Yes. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Callan, I yes. have a question for you. What is the function? <laughs> Callan. <laughs> Callan. Keep going. I have a question. <laughs> All right, keep going. Here, begin. <laughs> Start. What, what is the function of the digestive system? The function. <laughs> keep going. All right. The function of the digestive. <laughs> Stop. Stop. All right. The function of the, the function of the, the digestive system is to take food molecules and break them down into smaller ones so the body can absorb the nutrients. <laughs>